queens it's your girl ashley back with another video welcome back to crown of beauty and today we're going to be experimenting with some beauty products specifically for me i've been wanting to try magnetic lashes because i just cannot get right when it comes to using eyelash glue or bonding glue or whatever type of glue that can be used to put lashes on false lashes on i just can't get with it um, but practice makes perfect and I will keep practicing but I will say that these magnet magnetic lashes have helped me to just be more comfortable around my eye area and to get my placement better for when I am ready to experiment some more with falsies um, for my eyes. So with the magnetic lashes I picked these up from Target. Um, these are the Pro Magnetic uh, by Ilor, and it comes with a magnetic eyeliner, magnetic lash eyeliner. So you put it on just as you would any black liner, and then you let it dry a little bit, put a couple more coats on to the same eye, and then you apply the lash. So let's check it out. Um, I have tried these before and they were great. They lasted a good eight hours or more. And they, if you don't place it perfectly, you can easily readjust them. So I do like that about it. But today I want to give you guys a demonstration because I have honestly found something that really works for me. And I know that it's not just me that struggles with gluing false lashes. So let's get right into it. So, like I said, what I'm first going to do is apply the Pro Magnetic Magnetic Lash Eyeliner by Eyelore London, uh, which I got from Target, or Target, Target, however you want to say it, girl, whatever. <laughs> so, I'm going to put my mirror right here so that I can see. I'm, t I'm taking this, and it looks just like regular liquid eyeliner. And I have to pull my eye just a little bit. So, so I did one strong line right there. I'm going to let that dry down a little bit, which the directions do state to let it dry down. So I let that dry for about 30 to 45 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with another coat. I'm going to try to get as close to the bottom of my eyelid as possible. So I'm going to let this dry down a little bit as well. Alright, so I'm going to put one more layer, which would be my third layer, onto the right eye. If it starts bleeding into the inner corner, not literally bleeding, but the, the product kind of getting into my inner tear duct. I'm just wiping it, bl um, blotting it with the tissue. Sometimes I apply eyeliner a little too close <laughs> to my inner tear duct because I do have like almond shaped eyes. So um, I just try to cover as much eye as possible. But with liquid eyeliner, you kind of want to be careful with that. The lash, can you see that? I'm going to use my fingers because I don't know how comfortable I am with like tweezers so close to my eye. Um, and that may be why I'm really not that great at falsies anyway. But the I love lashes that kind of start off a little shorter towards the inner corner and they get longer um, towards the end. So that's kind of what these wispy magnetic lashes are. But they have about four 
magnets on this little bitty eyelash which is amazing technology I must say so I'm just gonna take it and place it um above my eye on or like on top of my real eyelashes So I feel like I have a thick enough coat, so I'm going to take the lash and place it right above my real lashes. And it goes on almost like you're buttoning something. You could literally like stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, which I really like. You can move it down, move it around, wherever it's comfortable. Can you guys see the difference? Real lashes, false lashes. And you can pinch them together a little bit to adjust them to be a little tighter together. That's one method of how to apply. Now another method from also from Target is the with the Ardell magnetic lashes. They say easy to apply, no adhesive needed, pre-curved band. You use this applicator. And so you put the bottom one on the bottom part of the applicator. This is a little more tedious, but maybe because it's my first time trying it. Oh. I think I put them in wrong. So I'm going to switch these to the other side. The Ardell should be up and the lash should be facing me. Okay. So now it says position the upper prong above your natural lash line and plug prong directly beneath it. Press prongs together. Quickly release to connect upper and lower lashes. Oh my gosh, it's on my wrist. I think I prefer just to put the eyeliner on and snap it on, but we'll see. And this should be like a thicker, fuller lash since it's like two layers. So we'll see. So I'm going to, can you see me? I don't know. I see where it's, what it's trying to do, but that's too complicated. I'm just gonna create like more of a bend with them and just stick it on since I already have this eyeliner on this eye. So I have the lashes on now. They feel very comfortable. They're easy to readjust and move around where you need to. I uh, know some people may like theirs to start closer to the inner corner or something like that. Or maybe you need to cut the length of the lash to fit your eye shape, what have you. It's just so convenient. So all in all, I would definitely recommend getting the magnetic eyeliner because that was that is what was easiest for me trying it with the applicator was a fail <laughs> I could not figure it out I had it on wrong at first and then when I had it on correctly it was just still they would not sandwich together between my natural lash how the directions said they would 
I like the Ardell magnetic lashes better um, than the Ilor Pro magnetic lashes because the magnet is stronger on the Ardell lashes. So just remember that. Um, and that that's just how I feel about it. I think I'll keep using these magnetic lashes. You know, I'm feeling myself a little bit and I got my hair done, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, <laughs> I definitely like magnetic lashes. I'm gonna keep using them. I'm gonna wear them all day. Um, but definitely, I would say the Ardell ones and definitely with some magnetic lash eyeliner. Cause I'm gonna wear eyeliner anyway. I prefer liquid eyeliner anyway. So why not it do a two in one and be the eyeliner and basically what's bonding the false lashes onto your eyelids. So yeah, that's my review. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Please subscribe down below to Crown of Beauty. It's your girl Ashley checking back out. See you next time. Bye queens.